I mean, I don't even remember the first best of three that I even played. I don't even know, remember. I don't even remember what team it was. <laughs> Never against, happened, to really. Be yeah. honest. I don't even know who did we, who did I even play earlier today. I don't even remember. I don't know either. Uh, who did I even play? Uh, I honestly don't even remember. That's just how stressful all these games have been. <laughs> yeah. I've been playing like sixty rounds, like, like a map. Like it's just so crazy. Like, yeah, I don't even know. And for whatever reason, it's because you guys like to you know kind of start the game looking like, hey, you know what? This this would be pretty easy, simple ride. Yeah. Uh, wrong buzzer <laughs> hits, and then all goes to hell. But now let's let's bring it back down here to earth. Okay, so big win for you and Team Liquid today. Uh, your Kinder has come on board for all of this ride, and yeah. and talk to me a little about some of the emotions there. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, obviously it's been like really crazy with all how there's just so much stress, you know, within like the games, like with yeah. all the rounds that we've had to play, all the best of three matchups have just been like super long, super grueling. This has probably been like the most stressful like group stage I think I've probably ever played in my entire career. Damn. Yeah. So that's like, saying a lot since yeah. the SIBO lands back then. Like I'm sure <laughs> yeah, those were pretty really... dangerous back in the day. You know? Dang. A long time ago. <laughs> uh, well, more recently though, right? With, with, with your Kinder coming in, I think a lot of questions people had were, which is answered as well in the server, was, you know, Elige moving around quite a bit, creating more space for your Kinder, but he still seems to be hitting his shots and being a beast in the server. So can you like, tell us more about that? Yeah, I mean, uh, to me, Merrick's honestly, he reminds me so much of Stewie, Jake. Like, he oh, really? Yeah, like he's like super smart, like understanding the game. He kind of just like, just has that natural instinct and understanding of the game where like if someone gets killed or if something's happening, like he knows like the rotations of what's gonna happen. So he's gonna say like, let's do X, Y, and Z, you mm -hmm. know, and all that. And yeah, no, he's just super smart. And like, even even he made like really good calls on Furia. Like we did, uh, they did like an eco anti-pop and at B, but it got shut down. And then Merrick's is like, they're gonna do it again 100% because of this. And I'm 100%. Like, yeah, yeah. And, and you gotta trust it when someone says it your teammate. 100%. And I was 100%. like, Damn. I'm like, this, this kid's smart. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> this guy, he gets it. Hey, um, so we also heard there a little bit about him kind of stepping into the role which is sort of helping Nitro in a way. Now, yeah. that's a pretty big uh, seat to have within just joining a lineup, dare I yeah. say, or even playing this event with him. Yeah, I mean, uh, with Outsiders, they were, like, really super dedicated in, like, so many things. You know, with James, like, he would work with James, like, he would, he would tell me they would be, like, 12 hours a day, 13, 14 hours a day, just, like, even up until 3 a.m. watching demos, trying to understand teams and all that. And that's exactly what him, Nick, and the rest of the teammates were pretty much doing, like, at our boot camp. We'd be starting practice at 11, and then they won't be back in their beds until like 2 a.m. So he wasn't like, lying when he said they were practicing literally 150 hours in two weeks. Yeah, I don't know. He's crazy. He told me one time, like, <laughs> the outsiders there, they would play five scrims, break, and then five scrims. Reasonable, actually. I don't even, I don't know how you do that in a day. So these long days, they don't really, they matter to him. You know, yeah, what, you know what did matter, Keith? Uh, uh, you had this round 14. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Now, it seems as though you put all your puzzle pieces together. So you want to walk us through this by perhaps watching right. over there on the screen? Oh, you want me to walk over? No, you don't have to oh, walk. You just tell us about it from oh, right yeah. there. That's yeah, fine. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I, obviously, I don't really know too much about what's happening at the start of the rounds. Uh, that's, like, all up to what everyone's doing. I'm kind of just chilling in halls. Of course. Just, like, getting ready to... Or actually, no, this is on CT side. So, yeah, no, I was just flanking. There's just, like, a lot of action happening right now. And, yeah, right now, stuff is going down. Stuff is going down. And then I see right here, late into the round, they flash CT. Uh, after they get this kill, they flash CT. And I see the guy default looking holes, so I know he's kind of unaware of where I am. But they flash CT. I know where the guy is in CT, so I'm just gonna try to nade. Maybe he's low HP. I can kill him. No kill. I throw a smoke high up in the sky. I molly the gap in the top left box there, so he can't jump up. And he, I heard him burning, and I felt in the end he had no chance, so I just stuck the diffuse. And you had to just tap crouch the whole time, Bled. You know, like that seems to be the style <laughs> points at least. Yeah. I mean. Uh, yo, so for Team Liquid, you, you guys draw now a berth into the Lanxus, um, and I think you get the movie star Riders, if yep. I'm not mistaken. Yep. What do you think about their journey thus far? I mean, yeah, no, I played them in the ESL Pro League group stage before, and they actually beat us. They're very, they seem to be very strong. They seem to have like a really good understanding of the game, and yeah, no, they just seem like very strong players, and yeah, I'm looking forward to the game. I know it's not going to be an easy one, even though I think playing on a big arena it might be their first time. So uh, they're obviously no, it's going to be no easy feat. Not going to underestimate. And uh, yeah, no, I'm just super pumped. I just can't wait to play in the arena. Yeah, I can feel that. Hey, Blade, you got anything more for this guy? Uh, getting this tournament, right? Obviously, considering the last minute, everything kind of coming in just a couple of weeks earlier. Did have your goalpost move a little bit now that you've made it to the playoffs, or or was this like were you going in for the deep run, or were you looking to just make it to the playoffs? I mean, obviously the first goal was kind of to just make playoffs. Uh, with with this lineup, we we kind of, in my opinion, set a little high, more higher and realistic ex expectations with ourselves with this lineup because when we brought in Yakinder, it just seemed more role wise. It like it's on paper, it makes sense. Yeah. Whereas like in our previous lineups that we'd oh, like kind of have, it just wouldn't really fit or it just wouldn't really work. And right now, it's just very easy to see like who the entry players are and who mm -hmm. like the playmakers are and who's passive and who's aggressive. And 
like I said, he really he really reminds me a lot of Stewie. Just like he has a just you know, really natural understanding of the game, and obviously he's super young and all that. So yeah, no, it's been uh, it's been a joy to work with him, and I can't wait. Keith, Good, last thing, I got to get you out of here. We of do course, have some yeah. other housekeeping and some of more course, things to of do. Course. <laughs> uh, Liquid fans around the world and NA rejoices today on the back of this victory. You want to tell them something in the, the one with the little red light on it? Oh, yeah. uh, you know, thank you so much for everybody watching and you know uh, people that got up for the early game to play and. Uh, I'm happy that we're able to make the North American fans happy and all that. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys in the Lanxus Arena. And I hope uh, people can cheer for Liquid for, for the, the events and the, the matches in the arena. So uh, I can't wait. And uh, shout out to all the naffers out there. Yeah, that's a mic drop type moment. I don't know if you're allowed to, but I, I don't want to break. This. I don't want to break. <laughs> Yeah, okay. There we go. <laughs> Not bad, guys. Very well done. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll, we'll have Blair take you off. And then in this moment, we'll.